on this holy night as we gather to welcome the Christ among us as Christmas dawns. A special welcome to you if this is your first time here at St Albans Cathedral, and we welcome all those joining us online from across the world. As we come together as friends and families and as God's people, we join our prayers this night for peace and hope and light to dawn this Christmas for all the world. Your order of service will guide you through our service this evening, and there will be a collection this evening which is shared between the mission and ministry of this holy place, which welcomes thousands of people every year. Last year, indeed, half a million people to this holy place, and we are committed to keeping free to enter for all people, and to our Christmas charity, Centre 33, who do such wonderful work caring for those most in need, especially the homeless in this city and district. We invite you, as you are able, to be generous when the collection comes your way, and you might ready yourself to make your gift even more effective by filling out the yellow gift aid envelope you received on your way in. However you give this evening, if you can complete that fully, that will increase your generosity. Thank you, and on behalf of the chapter and community of St Albans Cathedral, as Christmas Day dawns, we wish you, your families and friends near and far, every blessing this Christmas. Welcome. So we stand to sing our opening carol, O Little Town of Bethlehem.
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Dear friends, as we meet to celebrate the birth of Christ, let us pray that God will bless this crib, that all who worship his Son, born of the Virgin Mary, may come to share his life in glory. God our Father, on this day your Son Jesus Christ was born of the Virgin Mary for us and for our salvation. Bless this crib, which we have prepared to celebrate that holy birth. May all who see it and pray before it be strengthened in faith and receive the fullness of life he came to bring, who is alive and reigns for ever and ever. Amen. has come to dispel the darkness of our hearts. In his light, let us call to mind and confess our sins. God our Father, you sent your Son, full of grace and truth. Forgive our failure to receive him. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Jesus, our Saviour, you were born in poverty and laid in a manger. Forgive our greed and rejection of your ways. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Spirit of love. Your servant Mary responded joyfully to your call. Forgive the hardness of our hearts. Lord, have mercy. Lord, May the God of all healing and forgiveness draw you to himself, that you may behold the glory of his Son, the Word made flesh, and be cleansed from all your sins through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen.
Let us pray. Eternal God, who made this most holy night to shine with the brightness of your one true light, bring us who have known the revelation of that light on earth to see the radiance of your heavenly glory. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. are the feet of the messenger who announces peace, who brings good news, who announces salvation, who says to Zion, your God reigns. Listen, your sentinels lift up their voices. Together they sing for joy. For in plain sight they see the return of the Lord to Zion. Break forth together into singing, you ruins of Jerusalem. For the Lord has comforted his people. He has redeemed Jerusalem. The Lord has bared his holy arm before the eyes of all the nations, and all the ends of the earth shall see the salvation of our God. This is the word of the Lord. the Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to John. Amen. 
In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God, and all things came into being through him, and without him not one thing came into being. What has come into being in him was life, and the life was the light of all people. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not overcome it. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. He came as a witness to testify to the light, so that all might believe through him. He himself was not the light, but he came to testify to the light, the true light which enlightens everyone was coming into the world. He was in the world, and the world came into being through him, yet the world did not know him. He came to what was his own, and his own people did not accept him. But to all who received him, who believed in his name, he gave power to become children of God, who were born not of blood, or of the will of the flesh, or of the will of man, but of God. And the Word became flesh, and lived among us, and we have seen his glory, the glory as of a Father's only Son, full of grace and truth. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Emmanuel, God with us, open our hearts and open our minds and lives to receive you afresh this Christmas. As we have heard your word, so continue to transform us, that through us your light would shine into the darkness. Amen. Well, the light shone in the darkness, flickering beautifully in this cathedral and abbey church from over 1,500 candles, and silent was the night. In the first of our lessons and carol services this week just gone, and then the fire alarm sounded. Candles out people out, fire brigade in, false alarm, brackets, but the system works, and back we came, all in under half an hour, and phone torches won the day. The light still shone. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not overcome it. St. John proclaimed. As we gather on this holy night, as the lights of this ancient place, outside and in, shine to proclaim that Christmas is here, we are all too aware that there is so much about our world that feels so very dark right now. As Christmas Day has long dawned, the light has shone in many nations already around the world. For so many people, indeed millions upon millions, it is difficult this day to see the light. Epitomised in the town of Jesus' birth and the nativity scene set by the Lutheran Church in Bethlehem, 
depicting Mary, Joseph and the Christ child in the midst of rubble and barbed wire. For the people of Ukraine, today for the first time in centuries, celebrating Christmas in the Western calendar. For the people of Gaza, the West Bank and Israel, for those in our nation who are struggling to support themselves and those who depend on them this Christmas, they and we wonder, is there light at the end of this dark tunnel? The truth of this night, the truth of the incarnation of God in Christ, is what we proclaimed in this holy place as we returned from a fire alarm and reached for those phone torches. In the face of darkness, and even the darkest places of our lives and of our world, light is not overcome. And the light is not at the end of the tunnel. On this night, we proclaim it is shining here and now. And where and how it shines in our world is up to us. There are no limitations of hemispheres or nations, no limitation of night and day, not even any limitation brought by what humanity can do to humanity that stops Christ coming to us, to you and to me and to God's world afresh this night. And in the messiness and political uncertainty and danger of the birth of a child in a stable to a homeless teenage mother and her fiancé, surrounded by outcasts and animals, no room for them anywhere else. And into the messiness and danger, the cruelty and suffering, and the political and economic inequalities and uncertainty of our world right now, the light is shining for us and all creation. As we gather this Christmas Eve and welcome the day coming, we hear the prophet Isaiah and the evangelist in one voice. John taking for granted that his audience know the plot of this story, getting straight to assuring God's people that the light born in a manger was the life of all people and was coming into the world. And what does that promise, what does that truth really mean for us and for God's world this Christmas? How can we know that light is not distant at the end of a tunnel, unreachable, but is with us? In the first instance, God assures us, in the child in the manger, that this is God with us for all time. The light of life is divine life, a gift to each of us that can never be taken away, not by circumstances, not by anyone. Light, by definition, overcomes darkness. When the sun rises in the morning, when we turn on a light in a darkened place, the darkness is gone. It does not win. So for each of us this Christmas night, the light of God's love shines into your lives into our joys, into our celebrations of the day that lies ahead, into our sadness, into our grief, our anxieties, into our hopes and dreams and questions and doubts. The divine mystery beyond words comes to you this holy night in Christ 
offering you light and life. And coming to each of us, this light is by definition to be shared. We cannot be together in a space where I am in light and you are in darkness. And what the light of Christ reminds us afresh this Christmas is that it is for sharing. To share the light that is the Christ is to say that we live in the way of his kingdom. We work for and speak out for a just world. It is where we notice and respond to the needs of those around us and those we may never meet. It is where knowing the presence of the Prince of Peace with us, we choose to call for and work for peace in God's world. It is in our living generously with care for others and calling all those who have authority to make decisions that affect the lives of others to do the same. Then we are agents of this inextinguishable light, letting it shine through us. We are in this together with God. A gift assured to us, again this holy night, a gift surely by definition to be shared. Light also shows the way. We know in the plot of the story of this night that some were guided to the place of Christ's birth by a light. Light enables us also to see where we are going together. And more than ever in our world today, we need that sense of our common humanity, our shared journey, able to see one another across nations, across cities, across streets and dining tables, as made in the image of God, one in Christ, one on the journey together in God's world, walking forward so that the light shines for all people, for all creation. On Thursday night just gone, all of a sudden, here in the cathedral, all those candles were very quickly extinguished. And so on Friday, the Telegraph devoted twice as much space on page three to telling the story of the light shining in this place, the light of Christ, that it did telling that Wham! is the number one song for this Christmas. The light is shining. It is not somewhere at the end of a tunnel that we wait for, because you and I, receiving the gift of the light afresh this night, are charged to go out into this Christmas, into our daily lives, to let it shine for all the world. Amen. We believe in one God, the Father in
Amen. Let us pray. Loving God, in this holy night, Christians the world over celebrate Christ's birth. Renew your church and open our hearts that Christ may be born in us today. Lord, in your mercy, God of refuge, in this holy night your Son found space in a manger. Protect with love, with your love, those who have no home and all who live in poverty. Lord, in your mercy, God of peace, in this holy night the angels sang, peace to God's people on earth. Bring your peace to all places of conflict, especially to the Ukraine and to the land of our Saviour's birth in Gaza, Israel and Palestine. Lord, in your mercy. Eternal God, in this holy night heaven is come down to earth and earth is raised up to heaven. Hold in your hand all who have passed through death in the hope of your coming kingdom and bring comfort to all who mourn their loss. Lord, in your mercy. God of glory, in this holy night, angels and shepherds worshipped at the manger throne. Receive the worship we offer in fellowship with Mary, Joseph, St Alban and all the saints. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour Jesus Christ. Amen. Please would the congregation stand. This holy night the angels sang glory to God in the highest heaven and honour and peace to all in whom he delights. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And also with you. Let us offer one another a sign of peace.
Word made flesh, life of the world. In your incarnation, you embraced our poverty. By your Spirit, may we share in your riches. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. Creator, ever living God. We give you thanks and praise for your Son, our Saviour Jesus Christ, who for love of our fallen race humbled himself, and on this night was born of the Virgin Mary by the power of your Spirit, and lived as one of us. In this mystery of the Word made flesh, you have caused this his light to shine in our hearts to give knowledge of your glory in the face of Jesus Christ. In him we see our God made visible, and so are caught up in the love of the God we cannot see. Therefore, with all the angels of heaven, we lift our voices to proclaim the glory of your name and sing our joyful hymn of praise. same way after supper he took the cup and gave you thanks. He gave it to them, saying, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. Great is the mystery of faith. So far we're calling to mind his death on the cross, his perfect sacrifice made once for the sins of the whole world. Rejoicing in his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension, 
and looking for his coming in glory, we celebrate this memorial of our redemption. As we offer you this, our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving, we bring before you this bread and this cup, and we thank you for counting us worthy to stand in your presence and serve you. Send the Holy Spirit on your people, and gather into one in your kingdom all who share this one bread and one cup, so that we, in the company of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Auburn and all the saints, may praise and glorify you forever through Jesus Christ our Lord. By you and with you and in whom, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honour and glory be yours, Almighty Father, for ever and ever. Rejoicing in the presence of God here among us, let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us takes away the sin of the world, blessed are those who are called to his supper. Lord,
Let us God our Father, in this night you have made known to us the good news of your word made flesh. Through these mysteries may your Son be born again in our hearts and lives, that our eyes may be fixed on him who is our Saviour, Christ the Lord. Amen. Amen. foundation of the world, shed that love upon you, his children. Amen. May Christ, who by his incarnation gathered into one things earthly and heavenly, fill you with joy and peace. Amen. 
May the Holy Spirit, by whose overshadowing Mary became the God-bearer, give you grace to carry the good news of Christ. Amen. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you always. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. <laughs>